Hey there, Smite fans, and welcome back to a prediction video. This one's going to be the first one here, actually, for Season 4, which is going to be very strong. If you've been watching Relegations, watching Friday Night Smite, any of the tournaments that have been going on, you can attest to the fact that it has been fun to watch. I personally have had a hell of a time casting it, and I think that we are going to continue having a lot of fun with this meta, and especially going through these here Pro League games starting Saturday. And the first matchup already looking to be like a little bit of a doozy, going to be Cyclone versus Team Dignitas. Now, with any other split, I'd probably say this was an easy matchup, so Dignitas is going to be able to take this as an easy 2 but Cyclone has shown their worth. They have been climbing back up to the top here, and I think that they are going to be able to find themselves a game here. That being said, it is important to note right now the meta is very early game aggression based. It is very fighting meta oriented, or fighting styled, and uh, Dignitas... They have two members, I mean, Cubo, Fred, Trick Stank, those are known for that early game fighting, and because of that, I think that we're going to be able to see Cyclone possibly be able to take one, but I think that they're going to split it. I think that Dignitas is going to have the potential to take a game, but I don't think Cyclone's going to let them take two. I think they're going to be strong enough to stop them from taking a second game. Of course, if it does go in either way of whichever team, it would definitely be Dignitas 2 owing. I'm just going to leave this one as a split, though. Now, while I think the last game is going to be a little bit closer, I think this one's going to be a little bit farther apart. Valence squad right now looking a lot stronger, just in roster than Sanguine. And I feel like even though I'm excited to see Mr. Stefan finally find himself in the SBL, Mike the Magic Art for players who, or for people who might not know, is Git Fisher, who has not had a necessarily strong run. He's not necessarily the best player either when it comes down to it. And I think Valence squad overall has a very all star roster here. Of course, in the past, all-star rosters have been taken down, and they haven't done that well, but I think this one should work out very well here, and because of that, I'm going to give them a 2-0 over Sanguine. Now, for Novus Orsa versus Elevate, if you've watched them play in this past relegations, you'll know that they, they have some practice here in the season going forward, but these teams looking relatively evenly matched overall. I think that Novus Orsa might be slightly higher tiered, but I think it's so slight that that's not going to make too much of a difference. Because of that, I'm going to call this one as a split. I just don't feel like either team is really stronger than the other yet. If this ends up being, uh, if that ends up being the case that one is insanely stronger, next week we'll be coming into that, but from what I've seen, from what I know, I'm just going to have to give it to them as a split overall. I don't think these teams are far enough apart for either to take a 2-0. Now for the big one. This is the biggest one probably of the week overall. Obey versus NRG. The same matchup we had in the finals this last month, actually just in January. For anyone who didn't know, Obey at that time was able to take a game off of NRG. Almost were able to take two, but not quite. NRG ended up finding that 3-1 for the victory and retaining their world champion status. They are the exact same roster, but Obey, that one game they won was on the back of Variety, who's now on Dignitas, and I feel like that's going to affect them a lot here. They picked up a Mealzy, they picked up Maniac. I think they have a strong roster, but I don't think they have the practice that they're going to need to be able to take on NRG here. And because of that, NRG looking a little bit stronger. I'm going to give it to them as a 2-0 overall. Obey definitely going to have to show up. I think this is going to be great practice for them, though. I think this is going to push them to the point where in the future weeks, they're definitely going to be a number two team. And honestly, with the people they've picked up, I think they have potential to topple NRG as the Kings. They might be able to come out. But as it stands right now, I just don't think they're going to have the synergy for it. And because of that, I'm going to have to give this to NRG. Moving over into Sunday, going to be North America in memory of Gabe versus Team Allegiance. Now, this is a matchup that's going to be very, very, very fun to watch just because in memory of Gabe has been doing phenomenally, like insanely well playing together as well. But I feel like Team Allegiance haven't seen them in a while, except at Worlds where things kind of got a little hairy. But I feel like this meta, again, just kind of supports the members of Allegiance. I think right now in memory of Gabe have a little bit more practice, especially at a competitive nature doing insanely well in relegations and being able to pull themselves into the pro league. I feel like I want to give them this as a 2-0, but it's very difficult to because I look at Allegiance and I feel like they're going to have a lot up their sleeve. I feel like they're going to be very strong. And a lot of the doubt I have for Allegiance right now is coming out of the fact that I just haven't seen them play versus in memory of Gabe, I've seen them play and they're playing phenomenally. I want to call this as a 2-0, but I think I'm going to give it to them as a split. I think Allegiance is going to have some potential. I almost encourage you put this as a 2-0 for in favor of In Memory of Gabe. I personally am going to have to sit back and see what Allegiance does this week. I think they have the potential. Of course, if they don't, next week I will be not necessarily as happy as I could be. 
but I'm gonna have to give it as a split. I just feel like Allegiance is gonna be holding something just because I haven't seen them yet. I wanna know what they can do. Now the next matchup gonna be Luminosity versus Flashpoint Esports. Now Flashpoint is a team that has had a few mix-ups now. Shadow Cube gonna be remaining the Guardian. They picked up Aquarius, which I'm very happy to see because I love that guy. He's a very good solo laner from the Challenger scene. But overall, this team not going to have the same synergy that we will see on the side of Luminosity. And while I think that Flashpoint, after a couple weeks, will have very good teamwork, very good team play overall, I think it's going to be hard for them in this first week to beat a team like Luminosity, who four of the members have been playing together for quite some time. Two of the members have been playing together for years overall. So we, even with Baskin kind of jumping into this mid lane over here, having something a little bit different for him, having to deal with more than just the left-hand side of his map, it's still going to be, I want to say, just a little bit weirder for Flashpoint to kind of put themselves together. Luminosity is going to be overall stronger, and because of that, I'm going to have to give it to him as a 2-0. Now, the next matchup will be Noble versus Enemy, and again, a year ago, Enemy, I would have been all for them. They were proving to be one of the top teams in the world. Right now, though, they have fallen from grace. Since then, they're going to be in a very odd position trying to fight up against Noble, which both of these teams we saw play in relegations this last week. Noble, currently a very strong-looking team. Wowie, Wubbin, MLC, Stealth, El Chapo, and Uzi. And overall, I feel like Noble is the better team fighters out of this. Enemy was terrific at farming this past week, and they had some very strong games. In fact, they placed overall better than Noble, but I feel like Noble is learning, and I feel like they learned a lot from that. I feel like they're going to be scrimming a lot, and while Enemy, I think, has potential to take a game, I don't think they're going to be able to take two, and the same thing kind of goes for Noble. This one's going to be a split between the two. I think they are really close matched. And the last matchup of the week, which will be Eager versus Soar. Now, Eager, staying with the same roster, much like NRG is, normally I would be all about giving them the benefit of the doubt, or not the benefit of the doubt, but giving them the point here. They'd take it 2-0, right? They're staying together, they have the teamwork, they're going to be strong. But when I look at the members of Sword Gaming, I think the weakest link is going to be the fact that Andy playing in that mid lane might be a little bit different, but I honestly expect a lot out of this crew. Vidium, Jigs, Homie, Fei, and Benji going to be very, very strong here. And honestly, while in any other scenario, I would probably just say Eager is going to take this as a 2-0, I feel like this is pretty similar to the Allegiance scenario where I'm thinking they have something. They know something. They've been playing. I haven't gotten to see this crew play, but I feel like they're going to be able to come into this with a lot of effort. And I think Soar will be able to find a game off of Eager here. And if they if they don't, then it's going to be a 2-0 for Eager. But I've just, I strongly feel like Soar has something, so I'm going to be able to place this one as a split. Now, just for the quick rundown, a split between Dignitas and Cyclone. While I think Dignitas is a little bit stronger overall, I think that Cyclone's not going to let them take a second game off of them. 2-0 in favor of Valence Squad up against Sanguine because I think they are just a slightly better roster right now. 1-1 between Nova Sorsa and Elevate. I think these two teams look pretty evenly matched. And a 2-0 for Energy versus Obey because while Obey was able to perform at Worlds, they don't have the same roster and it's going to take them a little bit of time to get back into it. A 1-1 split between Gabe and Allegiance here. I feel like Gabe has the potential to 2-0 but I think Allegiance is going to have something up their sleeves to kind of pull out here and make this a split down the middle. 2-0 in favor of Luminosity because no matter what Flashpoint has, especially in terms of potential, they don't have the same amount of team play that Luminosity is going to have right now. Because of that, I'm going to have to give it all the way to Luminosity. A split between Enemy and Noble. Both of these teams are looking very good. Enemy actually scored better overall than Noble in the relegations, but I think that Noble is learning a lot. I think they're going to have a lot of potential to be able to push themselves forward, and because of that, I'm going to call this one as a split. Similar to Gabe versus Eager, I feel like Eager has the potential to 2-0 here, but I just have a really good hunch that Soar is going to be able to pull themselves out here, pull something that will put them in contention here and be able to take a single game off of Eager. I don't think they have potential to take two, and I don't feel like Eager is going to be strong enough to topple Soar twice in a row, at least not easily, so they're either going to be a close 2-0 or a split down the middle, and I'm going to go with the split. And with that, I mean, that's the end of the week. That's all the games that we have so far. But that's not all that will be airing on Saturday and Sunday. Of course, if you wake up a little bit earlier, 10.30 a.m. on Saturday Eastern Time and 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, you will be able to watch the Challenger Circuit casted by myself and Freight Train, Soza, Alpha Jackal, as well as Desyncs. It's going to be very fun. We're casting four teams, the fourth place from the open bracket, as well as the bottom three from relegations going through to it. It will be very fun to watch, so come 
tune in with us and watch these teams it will be very fun because i feel like a lot of them have potential the next time it rolls around to relegate right into the sbl and it'll be very fun to watch but with that guys thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you again in the next prediction video